Okay, I will show you guys how to estimate the area under the curve 1 over x from 1 to 2 with R4 and L4. Let's start with this one first. And of course, I will give you guys a picture right here. And the picture is just 1 over x, and it will look something like this. Now, I'm to scale, of course. So first of all, y equals 1 over x, and we are going from 1 to 2. So let's say it's right here to there, right? Now, R4 means we are going to use 4 equal with rectangle, and the rectangle has to be the right end point. So this is what we can do first. We have to figure out the width, and this is not so bad to do. From 1 to 2, it's just with 1, dividing 4 pieces, so we have 1 over 4, right? And you can also draw the picture right here. It's just you cut the middle right here, and then the middle of the middle, and the middle of the middle, like that. Alright, so this is the right end point. This is how we do it. You see this and that, you want to start from the right, and then you go up, hit the curve, and then make a rectangle. So that's the first right end point rectangle, right? And before I show you guys the rest, let me actually just start writing down the R4. First of all, the width of this rectangle is just 1 over 4. And if you would like, you can also use the formula. That's the delta x. Again, this is just the width of the rectangle. And you see, we are going from 1 to 2. So that means we do the bigger number minus the smaller number, which is 2 minus 1, divided by however many rectangles that we want, which is 4. And of course, work that out, we get 1 over 4, like that. Alright, so that's the width, which is not so bad, and then we have to multiply by the height. The height is the following. We have to pay attention to what x value we used. Well, we use this one, and then we go up. That's how we can draw the rectangle like this, right? So we need to figure out this y value when x is what? From 1, and then we have to add 1 over 4, which this is 5 over 4. That's the x value that we have to use, and then put it right here so we can get the y value. And we can just write that down, 1 over 5 over 4 in here. Right? So that's the idea. Right? And sometimes you can also write it as f of x is equal to 1 over x, and then this is just going to be f of 5 over x. But I'll write it down right here for you guys, because later on we can just punch this onto the calculator and all that stuff. Alright, next. This rectangle, I'm just again starting from the right, and then I'm going to go up, hit the curve, and then make a rectangle. And the width is, of course, still 1 over 4, and we multiply by, hmm, the x value here is just 6 over 4. Right, just you go up by 1 over 4 each every time. I know that's 3 half, but doesn't really matter. Put this right here, we get 1 over 6 over 4, like this, right? And then we have two more to go. Next one, of course, the width is going to be 1 over 4, and this x value is 7 over 4. You just add a quarter to this, go up like this, and like that, and then you have a rectangle. Alright, so you just pretty much do it, 1 over 7 over 4, and then you add the last one, 1 over 4 times 1 over, the last x value is 2, right, 2, and then you go up like this, like this, like that. Well, I will actually write yes, 8 over 4. So you can have all the common denominator, all the good stuff. Anyway, here we actually just use a calculator, and I'll tell you, if you work that out, you approximately get, you'll get approximately 0 0.6345, and all that good stuff, right? So this is the answer for that. Now, here's the question for you guys though. Is this number overestimating or underestimating than the actual area? Well, we actually can just look at the picture. Have a look. If we want to go from 1 to 2, you see we have this, 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 and that. Those spots are missing. So this right here, it's going to be a under estimating, right? So we are underestimating the area for that. Okay? Now let's take a look of L4, which is just the right. I mean, which is just the upper, so which is just the left end point. So again, here is the picture, and yeah, y equals 1 over x, and then of course, if you would like, go ahead and put on the delta x, which is the same thing as the one that we got earlier, and then we are going from 1 to 2, so let's say this is 1, this is 2. All right, L4 in action. First one, again, I will cut, cut, cut. This time though, we start from the left hand point right here, right? The left hand side here, the left hand point. And then you go up, hit the curve, and then you make a 
rectangle like that. So in fact, this right here is the x value that we are using, right? So let me do it like this. The width is 1 over 4, and then we multiply by the height. The height is 1 by, let me write it as 4 over 4. 1 over 4 over 4. Next, we start from this, right? We start from this. We go up, hit the curve, and then we draw the rectangle like that, right? So when we use this, this right here is 5 over 4, the one that we got over there, which is 1 over 4 times 1 over 5 over 4 for the area of the next left end rectangle. Next one, plus 1 over 4, and then we are going to use this, go up, hit the curve, and then make a rectangle. This x value is 6 over 4, so we just plug in 6 over 4 in there, 1 over 6 over 4, like this, and then last one, 1 over 4 times 1 over, we will be using 7 over 4 for the x value, go up, hit the curve, and then make a rectangle like that. So we actually have 7 over 4 like this, right? Work this out on your calculator, you will actually end up approximately 0 0.7595 like this. So this right here is the value for L4. And in this case, as you can see, this, 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 and that, they are all sticking out. So this number is actually overestimating the actual area, right? So that's it. That's how you do it.